your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Welcome back. It has been a rainy evening pretty much if you're in Monroe County, but we are starting to see more showers spreading across parts of middle Georgia already seeing a few more of those areas of heavy rain pushing into Jones County now into Baldwin and Hancock County, and we're going to see more widespread shower activity as we head through the rest of the overnight hours and really through the day for tomorrow. So be ready for a rainy Friday. I'm just going to start there and then we're going to get into some better news later, but this is looking out right now on the 41 sky view courtesy Georgia United Credit Union in Dublin a pretty calm evening there right now. I have seen some gusty winds across the area earlier, but now everything kind of calm for right now. But once again, as those showers start to roll in, we'll see the winds gusting up again around 25, even 30 miles per hour. Now today was a very warm day here in middle Georgia. I hope that you enjoyed it because we're cooling down all the way into the weekend. 75 degrees our high temperature earlier today. 57 where we started out today. It will actually be a warmer start for tomorrow because temperatures all over middle Georgia still in the 70s, 70 degrees in Macon, 72 in Dublin and seeing 68 in Perry, a little bit cooler in Forsyth where we've been seeing that rain for much of the evening. And you can see those wind gusts we were talking about 24 miles per hour right now here in Macon, 21 miles per hour in Vienna and 16 miles per hour in Abbeville. Now we can play my favorite game, find to the front. It should not be that hard. 44 degrees in Birmingham, 59 down in Montgomery, and we are still in the 70s. Now, typically that would make you think severe weather maybe, but really we're just expecting to see some heavy rain and maybe some gusty winds as these showers start to roll through because there's not much in the way of instability across our area, even with those warm temperatures. Also note though, there is a little bit of lightning in some of these storms, so we could hear a few rumbles of thunder as all of this starts to get a little bit closer. As far as that severe weather outlook, not a whole lot out there for today, so some good news, like I said, as far as that potential for some strong storms. You take a look though at our stormcast heading into the overnight hours and tomorrow. It's rain, 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 so this is going to be good sleeping weather for tonight and tomorrow morning. Maybe hard to get out the door because we're going to be dealing with this rain pretty much all day on Friday. Now, by Friday night, this is finally going to start to clear out and we'll see some much cooler air pushing in behind it. So expect to see those highs only getting into the 50s, threading into Saturday and then maybe a chance for some showers on Sunday. A little bit of a closer look because also I want you to note these temperatures. We're going to start out the day in the mid 60s for tomorrow with this rain and with this cold front. We will see a cool down throughout the rest of the day. So by 5 p.m. We're already down in those lower 50s in some spots. After this rain pushes out, we're really going to see that quick cool down into the 30s into early Saturday morning. But once again, the good news is Saturday we're talking about plenty of sunshine, even though it's going to be much cooler. Now, as far as how much rainfall we're expecting past the system that we're already seeing, we could see anywhere from an additional inch of rainfall to maybe even an inch and a half as it pushes through. But I will go ahead and say that on Sunday we do have a chance for a few showers, mainly in our southeastern county. So we're going to watch that forecast pretty closely, but do know that most of next week is going to end up dry. We'll slowly warm back into the 60s for much of next week as well. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC Act Weather 7 day forecast from Volume Chevrolet in First Sight. Temperatures tomorrow will be falling throughout the day. So 67, we're going to start the day. Rain will be possible throughout the day. A few rumbles of thunder as well. But as we head into the weekend, we should dry out for Saturday. Highs getting up to 56 degrees, slowly warming up into the 60s by the middle of next week. For weather updates on the go, download the 41 NBC AccuWeather app and follow 41 NBC on Facebook and Twitter.